Draco got got that hit his shit. No cap. YouTube is Jay Breezy. I'm back with another video, and today, man, I'm coming to y'all with how I ended up in the emergency room, and that's the whole thing today. Y'all, watch the whole video, like, comment, subscribe. If you don't care about me, just click out the video. I'm making this video because a lot of people were concerned. Shout out to all the people who are checking up on me, asking if I'm good. Asking what was going on and whatnot. I didn't want to sit there and reply to everybody one by one. I'd rather just come on here and just let y'all know what's up. That being said, I'm going to get straight into it. So basically, this all started on Friday. So, well, Thursday night, basically. Thursday night, I was doing me, just chilling, relaxing and whatnot. And then know what everybody does normally I go to sleep Thursday I didn't eat so remember that so Thursday I didn't eat and then Wednesday that was my last full meal so Friday come along I wake up Friday morning around 11 and I wake up Friday morning at 11 and I'm like okay my body's still tired so it's like 11 30 I'm like I'm still tired I want to go back to sleep so then I go back to sleep from like 11 30 to like 2 and 11 30 to 2 I'm still sleeping only reason I wake up again at 2 is because my mom comes in here which is obvious reasons why but she comes in here knocking on my door asking if I'm good and whatnot and I tell her like yeah I'm good because I'm usually walking around the house around noon because I usually wake up like my natural body time wake up is like either 8 30 in the morning or at 11 in the morning it's never in between never off it's either 8 30 i'm up or 11 i'm up so but it was 2 p.m and i was still in my bed trying to sleep so i was telling her i was like yeah my body's just trying to sleep like i had no energy to move at all friday so that was a one thing that was like wrong with me it was fatigue i didn't want to get up i didn't want to do anything I just wanted to sleep, and that was that. And I wasn't even hungry at all. I didn't even have an appetite, so those are two things. I was fatigued, I wanted to sleep all day, and I didn't have an appetite at all. And if you know me, you know I love to eat. I love to eat my food. I don't play with my food. And it was like, it was just throwing me off how that day I didn't want to eat at all. So that came, and when I wanted to go back to sleep, I went back to sleep again at 3. I'm pretty sure I went back to sleep at 3. Woke up again at 6. And then I didn't even move. I just looked at my phone and realized, oh, it's 6 p.m. I didn't feel like getting up moving. I didn't feel like doing anything. I was just, I just wanted it to sleep. So, like, I was really fatigued. Like, I was in the same position all day yesterday until I got up and ended up in the emergency room. So from 6 to like 6.05, I was only up for like 5 minutes, so I remember this. I was just scrolling through my phone, looking at stuff, and then boom, if you know me personally, I texted you what exactly happened, and I'm making this video because a lot of people were concerned, I had anxiety to take your mental health serious, please do, because when this happened to me i took it as a wake-up call to like take better care of myself so i took that as a wake-up call so i had an anxiety attack if you know you know i'm not gonna explain too much detail in that but just know i had an anxiety attack and i was dehydrated so that's what the doctor told me like oh your body was very dehydrated so that's what led to your anxiety attack so i was like okay so then I went back to sleep right after my anxiety attack happened. So from 6.30 to like 8.45, I was asleep again. I didn't move out of my bed. I was in the same position all day. I went back to sleep again and I woke up and I just felt like just the worst I ever felt like in a while. Like, I don't know why I'm laughing about it, but like this is the worst I felt in a while. I felt lightheaded, fatigue. I wanted to go back to sleep. I just wanted to sleep the whole day away. Uh, I didn't have an appetite at all. 
I didn't feel like doing nothing. I was just in my bed stuck. So then my mom knew I woke up because she heard me just going through my phone again. She heard my phone volume. She was like, come to my room. So I, I finally get up from my bed for the first time that whole entire day. At 9 p.m., I get up. I walk to her room, walk into her room, and getting up felt like I was lightheaded. So I like walked in there and then, like I dozed off. So like I woke up and I walked in her room. And then, like the feeling was like I walked in her room. Like when I got in her room, like just being in a different room, I started like doze off. I felt lightheaded, like I needed to hold on to something to stand straight up. That's how lightheaded I really felt that day. So I woke up, I was telling her what's going on with me, how I felt. And then I was telling her like, oh yeah, I feel fatigued. I was just want to sleep the whole day away. And then she was like, do you feel like you're going to pass out? Cause that's what it looks like when you walk in here. I was like, I don't know, honestly. So then she was like, let's try getting something to eat. So we go down the street, try getting something to eat. I literally took a bite of that took a bite of the burger and then I was like I'm full I couldn't eat at all I didn't eat anything all day but literally one bite of a burger made me feel full that day so then that's what happened and I tried eating again she's like try eating the burger because I know how much you can I know you can eat and I know you're hungry I was like I'm not feeling hungry right now like honestly I tried eating again and I just spit the food back up like nothing was wrong with the burger it wasn't nasty or anything they didn't mess up the burger just the food would just come back up and then she was like okay do you really want to go to the emergency room like is that what you really want to do when it could just be an eat something situation and I was like if it was just an eat something situation I would just ate at home I was like I honestly want to get checked into the emergency room so we drove I'm in the back uh passed out like with how much sleep I got that day, I kid you not, I was sleeping all day this day. I thought I was gonna be tired. I literally went to sleep in the car again for like the fifth time that day. So like it was like I'd wake up for like a few minutes, like three to five minutes, and go right back to sleep. So I woke back up in the car when we got to the emergency room. Went in there, gave my ID, they gave me the paperwork to check in, and all of that. So did that, checked in with my ID and everything, and then. They're like, okay, let's take your weight. I was normal weight what to what they were saying. And then took my uh, blood pressure. And that was the first thing that I realized and that they realized my blood pressure was like, when I took my blood pressure at home, it was normal. But then as soon as I got out of my house, it was all the way off. It dropped. It was like right above normal. So first thing, my blood pressure was barely above what it needed to be. So then when... We were getting checked in there, like, we're going to do a couple of things, we're going to uh, get you checked in. So they took me into my room, got me in my hospital, got me the little bed, the little hospital bed in my room that I was in. Got the IV in me, started getting fluid in me. And they're like, okay, we're going to take a little blood from you, do a little blood work. So they did that too. And then they're taking the fluid. They're asking me a lot of questions and whatnot to see like what may be the reasons and I was giving answers to that so then they're like okay we're gonna have you do this to see if you're dehydrated so I did what they asked me to go see if I was dehydrated and whatnot and they said yeah your dehydration was a key so that they're saying I was very dehydrated my fluid levels are off they said I could have passed out any uh, given moment if I was to just wait with how much my fluid levels were off. And then they were saying that I needed to uh, get my body moving again because the way I was laying in bed all day, like they were just stuck on my level. So they were suggesting that they told me I should just move more. So fluid levels were all the way off. So I was basically dehydrated. Uh, anxiety attack that happened. So like they gave me tips on what to do and what I need to do. So I'm been i've been using that <laughs> trust me it was like a wake-up call when i just seen that because when i had the anxiety attack my hands were just shaking and they couldn't stop shaking like i was like what do i do when my hand are just con- when my hands are just consistently shaking so that happened got the blood work done they told me i was dehydrated fluid loads are off 
got all that done. So then I had the fluid in me. They're like, yeah, you needed a, a bag of fluid in you. They're like, you could have honestly done two bags of fluid, but two bags of fluid in you to really get to it. But they're like, a ba- a full bag of fluid for you is enough. So I was like, okay. So like, like you were saying, the doctor was saying, I'll feed you, I'll feed you back up, put a fluid back in me so my fluid levels are back up they're telling me things to do like move around in the morning when i wake up so that's what i've been doing the last couple of days just took the time to like move around a lot been drinking a lot of water this is my second bottle today i've only been up for two hours so that's that and yeah so i've been like trying to get myself back to normal and i've been doing good on that i'm recording this as of monday january 29th and i'm trying my best as possible to get this up the day of recording because i took i was like i'm gonna take the weekend just to like relax relapse and get to myself so i can get back on what I need to get back on and get a grip on it and shake back harder because y'all know I love this this content creating stuff I love doing this but I don't want to do this when I'm not okay so I'm in the position to where I'm back to what I'm doing so if y'all concerned I had an anxiety attack I was dehydrated but that's what was going on everything's good my fluid levels are back I'm moving as much as I need to be moving taking care of myself more, taking that as a wake-up call. They suggested that I go to uh, therapy with a therapist. Um, I took that suggestion. I got my thought on that, thinking about it. But if you need to take care of your mental health, take care of it, please. I took this as a wake-up call to do that. I wasn't expecting to have an anxiety attack like that. So that's what had happened. That's how I ended up in the emergency room. But thank God that I'm back home. I left the emergency room that same night, came back home like five or six hours later. So thank God that happened because it could have went any other way possible. But thank God I came back home that same night, got better, getting better, and I will be better with God's hands. I, I, he got me. I know he got me. So with that being said, if you really watch this full video, y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Please do that. Jay Breezy going to shake back harder. Going on to bigger and better things. After this wake up call, I'm going to wake y'all up with the content I have in store for y'all. The things I did, with all the brainstorming I did over the time with my little process of just taking a step back from content to get better on myself is what I needed to do. So with that being said, I'm going to see you on the next video. And yes, I'm back.